Good evening. Hello, everybody, and welcome to We Are 863. My name is Sam. I'm Woods. And this is We Are 863. Yeah, that's right. What's up? If you are new here, this is where we gather to discuss all of the happenings of Project 863. Matthias, who is not here today, is subject one. I'm subject two. Subject three, and you guys are subject four. Subject four is vital to the process of us uncovering and solving the mystery that we find ourselves living in. So thank you, subject four, for all of your theories and memes. So we are starting on Spellbound Plus, as always. If you don't know what Spellbound Plus is, the link is in the description. Go check it out, it's free. And there's a paid tier where you get special perks and all that jazz. So we open up with a picture from Christian Cameron. Oh, cow, okay. What are you doing, bud? What are you, <laughs> what are you doing? That's scary. <laughs> I don't like it. I mean, it's a very artsy. It's art, artsy, it, artsy. Ar, ar. Ar, ar. Will the antidote even work anymore? Like it's very- it's like Angsty and artsy. Yeah, it, it's very cool. This was just on the home feed. We are now going to go over into stories and let's go into Project 863 Plus. This is our exclusive tier. Let's start off with some theories. Mm, yes. I think it's nice to get the thinking out of the way first. Mm -hmm. And then when we're panicking, we move on to we, memes. We then just look at memes, you know? This is a theory from Scarlet H. I made this patient list of all that I could find on the evidence list. I have some questions. What is splintering? Because that comes up a few times. And why are the patient IDs different? Like some start with 863 and some a letter. I assume that's because they're from different projects. I have no idea. Probably a side effect or I something. Was also <laughs> oh, interesting. Like they're labeled based off of like how it went. Like if the patient ID is labeled like 863 something, but if they're labeled with a letter, then that means something else. Like based on how a trial went or whatever. Oh, I was more so referring to splintering. Oh yeah, I don't know what that means. Yeah. I mean, just the word on itself sounds like just like splitting off of the plan. Well, I don't know. It also makes me think of Split. You know, like that, that movie yeah, with yeah. James McAvoy. McAvoy. That sounds McAvoy. right. McAvoy. <laughs> I know what James. you're talking about. Yeah, no. Uh, I... Where he has like split personalities. So mm. maybe like, I know it's not splitting. It's like splintering, but. I think like splintering like piece, a piece of wood splinters. Uh-huh. I think that like. That happened to them? It just sounds like it's yeah, like, it a, it's like, it's just, you know, it's what they're describing, I, I guess. I don't know, it sounds James medical. McAvoy. It's McAvoy. Is it? This is really interesting. I always love seeing you guys consolidate all of the information that you guys are drawn to. This is good. So I have something in mind. All of us thinks that Matt will become a phantom or the serum will do something to him because he didn't take the antidote, right? But we don't know if that antidote really works because no one really tested it. I trust Deb, but Deb didn't say anything about the antidote working fine. Woods, Sam, and Quinn, subject four, are the first to take it since the phantom didn't use it or didn't even try to use it. Deb said that the antidote was mislabeled and that wasn't the counter agent. What if the antidote is a part of the formula for the Project Pegasus and something might happen to Woods and Sam and Quinn rather than Matt. Have a great day. Thank you. That's interesting. I mean, honestly, Woods, I don't know that I really stopped to think about the fact that we might be the first people to have actually consumed the antidote. Sam, what is going on? Sam, no. just take it, Sam. No, 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 no. You need to take this now, okay? Take it now. I don't... Take it now. I feel fine. Yeah, I like I I haven't felt strange. Yeah. Really, in any sort of way, other than like you know anxiety and stress. But that's a little eerie. I haven't been really sleeping. This sounds a little silly, but I guess we'll just kind of see. I don't think Matt's gonna turn into the Phantom or a Phantom. Hey. I see a lot of theories. Who's acted but... funny before? <laughs> yeah. 
Rye has a theory for us. I find it interesting that they thought something like this would catch Deb. So what they're referring to is the trap, basically, that we found ourselves in. If she's an employee of Syntec, I feel like she would know enough not to poke around in location three. The trap with the tape was purely banking on their curiosity, but Deb knows everything already. I don't really have an explanation for that, but I'm wondering if that means Deb doesn't actually know everything, or maybe the traps are just bad and that's why they haven't caught her yet, lol. It seems like she was a pretty high level Syntec employee, but a lot of the trap setting seems to be after like there was a falling out. Maybe she left the company. Maybe they realized she was like trying to do good things from the inside or something. So they started setting these traps that she wouldn't know about. So while she was on this mission of trying to prevent more serum from being made, hearing on a videotape that more was being made, like maybe it would draw her there. Um, yeah, maybe there's a, another piece to the trap that we're not really getting at, cause like- I don't know, um, yeah. what, what do they say? So I don't really get it either. If the tape and the document were intended for her, I don't quite see how was that supposed to lure Deb into the trap, seeing as by that point, Deb and Cyphus, along with probably the majority of Syntec, were at the very least covertly hostile towards each other. The notes, however, tell me that she was potentially trying to warn her associates still working with Syntec. Gotcha. It's possible they were trying to flush them out. Yeah, the way that I think about it is that maybe this happened, yeah, when they were all hostile towards each other. So she was maybe starting her project to like stop all the serums. So they thought that putting out an announcement saying that they were packaging more and all this jazz, like would actually draw her there so that maybe she could stop it. I don't know how she would. Yeah. Because clearly she strange. was a threat to them. Yeah, how they thought they were gonna catch Deb, I'm not sure. But yeah, maybe there might be a missing variable. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's been a full day and nobody has said anything about that weird cage area they found and didn't go into. Like y'all, I think there's something or scarier yet, somebody in there, a test subject that went very wrong. So there were a lot of places in that a location little nooks that and crannies. we didn't even bother with. A lot of them actually were caged off or blocked off. Like that little, almost like maze feeling section we went to was definitely a path. And it felt like there were spaces on the other sides of it, but also keep in mind, we didn't want to be there. Like we were looking for a way out. Yeah. So we weren't trying necessarily to like spend too much time there and explore other than getting into that bank vault area. Yeah. So our brains weren't really in the, let's explore every nook and cranny of this place. The situation was kind of, kind of went along like this. Oh, is that blood on the wall? Probably not. Well, what's over here? Kind of just avoiding, but not avoiding. Yeah. Priority was get out and serum, and those dark nooks and crannies weren't. We just uh, did not. Yeah, they didn't, go into. didn't seem promising. <laughs> What if Deb is actually her consciousness in digital form? We've never seen her outside of the computer. It's kind of weird that she can't do a lot of this stuff herself. For example, the undercover officer getting the package. Why couldn't she do that herself? Also, how did she know there was a trap in location three? Down to the fact they need the serum unless she has already been there. It would also bring Wes farther down the spiral if the person he loves dies, making him give up on the antidote and start juicing up more. That is is also why no one knows where she is. She mentions the limits of the form, so this would be something she would do. I don't know if that's a possibility uh, yeah. yet, but I, I don't know if that's she might possible. be like handicapped. Maybe she can't do this stuff herself, or maybe she just wants to remain like the mastermind of it all and like have other people do it because maybe she's doing something else too. As far as how did she know there's a trap in location three, on a lot of the documents and like on the letter that Matt found, it was like probably a trap. Like it seemed like she had run into a few encounters. Like she had watched the tape or found a letter or, from or, a different area. Yeah, or that she had basically just like run into them trying to set traps for her before. I will say though, she, if she's just like handicapped or immobile, can't move or whatever situation she is in where she has to stay at the computer and not do certain things. The way like the interface, like the face type, like the video yeah, itself. I don't know that I think this theory is true, but in the video that just Matt was in where he was talking to Deb, there was a weird glitch where she was talking super robotic-like and then all of a sudden it felt like she was like awake. Okay. You entered Q1 location and left Mesa location number three. You entered Syntec location number three. Whoa, that's different. 
something just happened. I triggered something mentioning location three. She was answering all of these like prompt protocols. And then when Matt said Syntec location three, she like woke up. Maybe, she, like, maybe, maybe there's like an AI going on yeah, and then she like clicks back in. <laughs> I don't know. When like there's an emergency, the AI weird. alerts her or something. And she's like, oh, what's up? Maybe she has more projects happening mm, okay. to where like she, she so, like, like can't just be sitting around. What we're talking to is kind of like her answering machine. And then like, you know, Maybe. while she's out doing other projects and we need something, she gets like a Kim Possible beep, her answering machine that we're talking to. And she's like, mm. oh, okay, these fools. Hey, what's up? <laughs> she's like, what'd you do now? <laughs> Interesting. Matt is gonna act fine, but then one day they're gonna find him trying to steal serum. So he's gonna seem fine, but he's not. I don't know. He's okay for now. But, uh, but who, who, we're not doctors. Yeah, we're not like, doctors. We, we don't, we don't know what any of this is. And if that, if that is the case, one day, it happens. We can't get too far ahead of ourselves with what might or might not happen. Now we are going to go to the free tier, Project free tier. 863 theories. Project 863 theory. And then we'll get on to some memes. We'll get on to some so memes. we can laugh a little bit. And then maybe we'll Hopefully. head on over to Reddit from Victoria, the test, period. I like the dramatic beginning. They were mixing the clear and red serum to make black. Also, didn't that serum look insane? By the way, like looking back at that video, watching it spin in that thing, like it just looked so scary. Yeah, I don't really remember. When they were listening to the tape, the man, I wonder if that was Wes, but that's not the point. He mentioned Project Pegasus. Wasn't that the mind control project? It also says, we will see you once the test is finished. What if they were planning to mind control Deb to get her to help them again? If that's the case, if Matt doesn't have a plan already in place, he could be susceptible to mind control? I have no idea how that would even work. What even is scientifically possible at this point? I don't know. What do you think? Mind control? It looks like there's a tower designed to literally uh, hypnotize people around the tower or in a van. Honestly, I just think it was some outdated technology in there. I think it was a dud, to be honest. Like, really? I think Matt's gonna be fine. I think we would have been fine. It was sitting there with like this collection of things from different eras. I mean, it might have been a trap like set and like, you know, it wasn't like, it obviously wasn't just like a relic on the shelf. I don't know. Logan is asking, does anybody know the Discord? So you guys likely saw in a previous episode that Matt really relied on Subject 4 in a Discord to figure out what to do and what direction to take in his own individual journey when we were all separated. The Discord is a perk for the 863 plus tier on Spellbound Plus. So if you wanna be a part of that Discord, you need to subscribe to Project 863 Plus in Spellbound. And that's how you get it. Let's look at some memes, yeah? Mm. Memes! Tanner's <laughs> mom posted, what is your favorite snack? Doritos, Cheetos, or Fritos? 122 people voted in this poll. Mine's Fritos, honestly. Mine's Fritos too, but I've been seeing some, don't press it yet. Oh, I've seen some Fritos. pretty awful things about Doritos. About Doritos? And how they treat their workers. Oh really? Oh yeah, like terribly. Well then we're not gonna vote for Doritos. I think all of these are owned by the same company though. Capitalism sucks. <laughs> we're gonna go with Doritos. Wait, no, but you said that they're that they that they they're the bad people. Mm, I mean, they're not gonna see this. This is not an official endorsement of Doritos. But we're officially saying that Doritos people should sucks. be treated well. What a concept. <laughs> Matt Sam Woods. Time to find the serum. Getting trapped in abandoned lab. Yeah, probably the last area we were expecting, but like our one weak point. <laughs> Sam fears for Matt's safety when he makes her take the antidote. Woods. That's... That's not fair. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty good meme. I can appreciate the humor, but it's kind of a difficult one to react to because what you guys saw that day was pretty, a pretty dark moment between Matt and I. And, you know, he, he did give it to me, but I... You know, I, it was wrong. So, so we'll yeah. just move on I, right, yeah, from I, here. I, 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 think I, I don't really know how to address this right sure, now. It's sure. kind of like a, you know. It's, it's still sensitive. I still need to talk to Matt. It's still recent. Yeah, we're all on the same page now. 
it was a tense moment. I, I think a lot, a lot of impulsive things happen in moments like that. And he told you to take it. So it's like, I don't think that you should be riddled with all of this guilt, but I, I understand. It was a very funny meme. And maybe we can, you know, revisit those later. Yeah. Yeah, so we're, we'll, you know, we're gonna move on. More memes. I'm More sure memes. I'll see a bunch of these. Get exclusive monster tapes when you buy a spell bun from Keebler Woods. Limited time only. What is this? It's a promo deal a going on. I'm sponsored right now. You're sponsored by Keebler? Uh, Keebler yeah. Okay, cool, cool. That's good for you. Here we have another lazy theory generator. You guys love these. What if previous owner of the Mountaineer is actually Markiplier because of things getting personal now? Matt? Didn't Markiplier used to work with us? <laughs> Matt, sometimes, yeah. Me the entirety of last video. Yeah. <sighs> Is he holding his breath or is he crying? I think he's like exhaling on a cry. You know, he's like, yeah, I did that the other day. What? Matt, your savior is here, Keebler Woods, and he will cure you with Spellbun. Is this a thing? I'm not sure I understand the meme yet, is this but a thing? Um, I like it. Everybody loves it. Keebler Woods handing out spell buns. It's, I love Rubber Ducky. I love Rubber Ducky. He's really obsessed with Keebler. Maybe their parents work for Keebler. <laughs> Can you like this and send it to me? Maybe you do like it. Yeah, I think it's funny. Me after Matt hugged Sam and Woods in the most recent video. It's enough to make a grown man cry. And that's okay. I was not expecting to see him there. I mean, I'm glad that we did in a way, but yeah. Me thinking about how many problems could be avoided if Deb wasn't so vague. It's not her style yeah. to give details. I guess not. I, I actually would push back on this because I think that like, one, her communication is probably limited so she can't give a lot of details. She's gotta be vague. Two, she's gotta be vague in order to avoid giving out details that could be picked up on, you know, that we would only know. And also three, that like, Maybe she has to be vague. Maybe. You know? I mean, you just made me also think about maybe she has to be vague about details because she knows that we involve subject four in all of this and she doesn't want someone taking advantage of the position of subject four and like seeing details that could harm the project, mm. if that makes sense. Kind of, but that is funny. <laughs> but, but it is funny. See, we find humor in everything here. Let's go on over to Reddit, see what Reddit is up to. A rare image of D3B out in the wild. That's so funny. That's really good. We should, for Halloween, dress up like <gasps> Deb Syphus and Nelson. Oh, wait. You said Deb Syphus and Nelson. And, uh, well, we don't really know what Wes looks like. We don't know what Syphus looks like, actually. We just have the actually. goggles. Uh, he probably looks like a dude in a suit who's bald and... <laughs> I like, don't know what he looks like. I'm just like assuming, yeah, assuming he looks like a Lex Luthor kind of guy. <laughs> oh my god! I Matt's mean, okay. Like yeah, Matt's fine. Matt's okay. This looks calmer. I mean, that was really good art, but also woof. Matt's okay. Symptoms may include headache, nausea, death, itching, fatigue, more death. Oh, and in many cases, death. This is such a cool style. I agree. D3B specialized antibody. This is very, very cool. Smoke grouchy. Whoa, that's really cool. Character design subject one, Matthew Frederick. That's dope. Can you scroll, did they do more? You want one? Yeah, I do, I do. <laughs> Ooh, whoa, very cool. I like how they're like all connected there too. Mm -hmm. We have yet to see a yellow. What? Oh, that's sick. I love how Deb I, has naturally become this Yeah, computer. no, I honestly, I love that this is how we picture her. Oh, there's me. Another character design this time, oh. Sam from Project 863. You look like you're part of the Teen Titans. You look like Starfire, bro. Goals. <laughs> that's so That's sick. so cool. Thank you so much. Why is it when something, I know I can't, I can't do a McGonagall impression. Why is it when something happens, it's always you three? Gloves that are too small, a sometimes unnecessary bat, and a lack of snacks. I love the traits and the characteristics we're being I know. known for. I know. Ooh. Whoa, that's a really cool design. Yeah. Like the light. It's like an ultrasound. Shedding on them. And the hearts oh. are pregnant, or they're like eggs with snakes. Whoa! After much convincing, I finally added prints to my Etsy. Link in the comments, only five available right now. Wait, can we buy one, Zoe? <laughs> <gasps>
we try to find the lighthearted moments to cling on to. <laughs> Only ones we can find are snacks. That's, That's it. True. Yeah, That's like, all we have. It's like, uh, everything will be okay in a bag. Yeah. That's what Nelson looks like. Okay, you can be him for Halloween. I wanna be dead. Why is he Red Skull? <laughs> I don't know, why is he animated but he has real teeth? Uh, Let's, you did a really good job on that. No, good job. <laughs> I hope you guys know that any adverse reaction we have to fan art is nothing about your talent. It's just about our connection to what we're seeing. Or it means you did a really good job. Or your talent <laughs> is so disgusting that it just <laughs> makes us have a reaction. All right, Nick, what you got for us? Nice. Nice. <laughs> that's cool. Whoa. Sometimes we have to stand up to see things because some glare, but that's very cool. Oof. That's intense. That's scary, for sure. That's kind of how I imagine this. He's got all his phantoms. That's yeah. Siphon, and they're all there to report and get direction. And... <laughs> how often did this happen? Matt is off to the next location to find serum. While walking, he passes a man. Little did he know that what man was the phantom. And Matt's ripped to hell. <laughs> Matt. <laughs> This is dope. This is so <laughs> cool. I love this style of comics. Yeah. So fun so to see. Chiseled. I know. Great job, Edic. 10 out of 10. Well, everybody, subject four, thank you so much for all of your theories, memes, beautiful creations, as always. We love having this space to just sit with you guys, catch up, see what you guys are up to over on Spellbound and on Reddit. As always, be sure to like and subscribe and all of that good YouTube stuff. Thank you for all of your love and support, and we will see you all next time. Bye-bye. Bye. If for some reason you missed the main episode, click here. If you'd like to see some of the behind the scenes, check out Behind863 here. You're not going to want to miss this one.